Hi guys, welcome to day five of the Yin Yoga Challenge with Charlie. Just clearing the space with my sound bowl. And today we're going to be focusing on a lying spinal twist. And this is really good for nourishing our lower back, our kidneys. It activates the heart and lung meridians that run through the arm. It's a good chest opener as well. So really bringing energy into our heart space and the heart chakra as well as stimulating the kidney meridian, which runs from the little toe all the way through the inside of the legs and most importantly, the bladder meridian. The bladder meridian is the longest meridian in the body and it starts in the brain. So it shows that any bladder issues can actually be associated with blocked chi, blocked energy in the brain. So whatever emotions you're feeling right now, in Chinese medicine, we say that it doesn't matter what you're feeling. The important thing is that that energy can flow so it's not blocked or repressed. Okay, so let's go into the position. And we're literally just lying down on our mat and creating a T-shape, a nice 90 degree angle with our arms. And then when you're ready, just bring your knees towards your chest and allow, I'm gonna get my timer going as well, so this is the three minutes, holding the poses for longer to nourish the body and just allowing the knees to drop to the side. Okay, now if you have a gap in between your knees, place a block. If your knees haven't actually reached the floor, the ground, just put another block underneath here. And if you don't have any blocks, just use a cushion, improvise with whatever you have around you, making sure that you feel nourished and comfortable in the position. Okay. And then just to activate the meridians and the arms, just look over the opposite shoulder to the way that your knees are facing. And just take some deep breaths here. Remembering to bring the breath down to the base of the spine, to the lower abdomen. Fully nourishing the body. And just feeling nice and relaxed. Becoming very present. And very focused on the now. Just making sure that your palms are nice and flat and relaxed and stretched. Okay. And just allowing your body to do the work, going to your own edge. A lot of chi can stagnate in the shoulders in this particular region. So it's really good to stretch out those arms as well. With the knees, the further you bring your knees into the body, you'll be stimulating different regions. So if you have your knees parallel to your hips or even slightly below, you'll be targeting the sacral iliac joint, which is essentially the, the very bottom of your back um, where your pelvis is. And if you bring your knees closer to your body, you're moving up your spine slightly to nourish your kidneys a bit more. Okay, so depending on what side you've done your legs, just bring them back to the middle. Give yourself a little bit of a lumbar rock. And then when you're ready, on the exhale, allow your knees to drop to the opposite side of what you've just done and bring your neck, your chin over your opposite shoulder. And you can really feel that stretch in your shoulder. Okay. 
And then just reminding yourself to time it for the three minutes. So well done and I'll see you in day six. If you like the video, hit like and I'd love to hear from you how you're getting on, any comments that you have.